guys and welcome back today i'm back to set up my november budget and you guys it's almost the end of the year let's finish off strong i know i'm so excited to almost almost be debt free so let's get started and i have this beautiful kit from sarah marie you guys know my favorite um i just love how she did the butterflies and super cute colors i love it so let me start with setting up my monthly view and let's get started so guys like i mentioned november already i am so excited it is definitely um amazing to me that i've been on youtube for about a year i really have enjoyed it um i really have enjoyed sharing my journey with you guys and it's just something that i really enjoy doing now that i do it so as you can see i have my beautiful kit so cute i love it let me wipe that out because i don't need it and it's just kind of like annoying a little bit to have it there not that i'm gonna put anything there or anything but i would just rather not have it there And if you guys don't know, this whiteout Tombow Mono Correction Tape is the best whiteout ever. And you can get it in bulk off of Amazon. So that's where I bought mine a long time ago and I still have a bunch of them. Set down my other side. Jeez, you'd figure it'd be easy after doing this for so long right it doesn't get any easier so like that there it is much better and then i can put the bottom strip and definitely <laughs> my planner is very very bulky but it's good like that and i'm going to set my date dots later just because it's a little time consuming but well let me do my budget and i'm gonna set this here like i am really just beyond excited guys that i am almost almost debt free and it's just amazing amazing so this line up here is for the income and I just like to leave a little bit of space like that and then set it down like that and then after that I like to leave um, this month has four weeks I believe yeah four weeks so I just do um, three four and then I just Put the total down right here. Like that. And then I do my income. So let me do my income over here. Let me just skip a line there. I'll do my variable here and then my fixed over here on this side. Just perfect. Like that. And now I can. Oh, you know what I forgot? Sorry, guys. Totally, totally forgot. I'm like, I'm missing something here. I forgot to put my. My bills so on the first is always my gas bill um, my rent I have this one over 
here is always on the third. That looks crooked. Okay, and then I have subscriptions, which is on the 7th, but I'm going to put it on the 6th because sometimes they get processed a little bit earlier. Then I have my cell phone, which is always due on the 17th. And then I have Primerica, which I believe is on the 19th. And then I have my credit card on the 22nd. Oh, and then I have the paydays here also. I have payday over here. And this one over here. I was like, I knew I forgot to do something. And then let me lift this one and put this one down here, and then put this one on the top, like that. So now I can continue with my budget. So I have my budget, right? You guys know. And I am going to put in my lines first, actually, just because, um, let me do the bottom first because then I'm gonna, I'm not gonna know where to do it. total here and then the other one um two four six right there okay now i can do my lines and i'm going to use this Budget over here. Then actual and like this. So let me put this one in here as well. Perfect. So now I can let me zoom you in a little bit. I can input my stuff over here. So this month I do have to pay my gas and electrical bill. So my electrical bill, I'm gonna do 200, just because it's every two months and it's backdated from summer. So it's more than likely that it's gonna be higher because we do use our AC. Um, gas is 25 because I think that since it's you know colder now um, we're gonna use the hot water and the stove a little bit more so that's what that is and then for personal you guys know I do a hundred household I do a hundred eating out we do a hundred and then we have gas three hundred and then we have food.
food, 400, and then tools, 200, pets, 40, and extra, you guys know I don't budget anything for that. So when I add this up, my total comes down to $1,465. Now I can do my fixed, which is rent, um, Wells Fargo, T-Mobile, um, insurance, Then we have insurance and subscriptions. Like that. So rent is fourteen twenty. Um doing a thousand dollar payment to the credit card. One seventeen. 50 for the phone, 192.19, 24.71, and 40.95. And when I add this up, my total comes out to be $2,775 with 35 cents. So the other thing I like to do is use this strip over here. Just so that at the end of the month when I do my close out for my budget, I can add them up and then do my total. And we have potential savings down here. Just like that. So that's how I like to do my setup. Now what I'm going to do is debt tracker with you guys just so this video is not way too long and yeah let me do that and i can let you guys know how much i have left to pay off but if you watch my videos you guys know how much i am having left and how i'm so close to being done so like that and then that's one of the reasons why i decided that for next year i want to use a smaller planner because i feel that <laughs> i'm just wasting like a lot of the space because i don't need that much space anymore so i'm actually glad that i am able to purchase a smaller one So, like that, let me do my lines. And I only do have one dip, but I don't want it to be, just be like one line right there. So I just left a little bit more, just so I don't have to. Have like just one line that looks super small and weird. So, this month, my debt is, so now my balance is $15.25. And then I don't get interest on this. And I'm trying to make um a $1,000 payment. So I should only have. 525 left for the month of december which makes me really happy so guys that's gonna be it for this video i hope you have been enjoying my videos if you have please don't hesitate to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one bye